Hello, Oscar. Hello, Carl. Enjoying the mud? Yes, it's very slurpy today. Care to join me? Don't mind if I do. We crocodiles love to wallow in mud. I love it too, it's very cooling in the sun. Carl? Yes? What's a crocodile? What? Well, I'm a crocodile. I thought you were Carl. Well, I am Carl. I'm a specific crocodile. Carl the Crocodile. Oh. So, Carl, what are crocodiles like? Oh, majestic creatures, beautiful and long, with vicious teeth and scales like rock. Oh. Say, what type of creature are you anyway, Oscar? I don't know. A horned warfront? There's no such thing. Oh. What? Horned warfronts. They don't exist. Well, maybe I think that crocodiles don't exist. Of course crocodiles exist. I'm one. Then I am a horned warfront. You can't be. Horned warfronts don't exist. Maybe I think you don't exist. Hm. Then you are wrong. I know that I exist. I think, therefore I am. I've heard that before. What does it mean? Descartes said it. It means that the fact I have experiences, I am able to think my own thoughts, means there must be an I thinking them. So, because you can think, I must exist too? No, it doesn't work like that. Oh. Descartes thought that it was impossible to really know what exists, other than that you yourself exist. So, do I have experiences? Do I exist? Well, well, I think so. But only you can know it for sure. Am I invisible? Can you see me? Can you hear yes, me? Well, yes, stop that. Sorry. But all I can see is your body. Even if I trust my senses, I can't be certain that there's a you inside. That you have any thoughts or experiences of your own. You could just be a puppet, some strange sort of animation, a zombie. A zombie? Yes, something that moves and talks, but doesn't have experience. I could tell you about my experiences. And you could be lying or confused. But you can see me dance and talk and sing. Surely that must mean I have thoughts. Well, no. I, I see you moving about, but that's just signals from your brain making your muscles contract, which makes your legs move in certain ways. Just bioelectrical signals. Oh. How does your brain work then, Carl? Well, through bioelectrical signals, but I can see my own experience. I can will my body to do things, and it does them. So, in my case, I know there must be something extra. Oh. So, when you will something, does that change the electrical signals? Make them do something other than the thing they would do if they didn't have that something extra? Maybe my brain does that too. We can scan our brains, we can see. Well, no. All the signals in my brain respond to each other the same way, whether there's an experience or not. The experience part is is an epiphenomenon. An epiphenomenon. An epiphenomenon. What? An epiphenomenon. Something extra that happens outside the mere clockwork mechanics of my brain. Something magical. Something that creates myself. My I. I can only be sure this happens in my mind, not in yours. And you're sure that it happens in your mind. Oh, yes. 100% certain? 
It's the only thing of which I'm certain. My experience is all that I know, my perception all I can ever be sure of. Oh, good, good. Carl, have, have you ever thought that you heard something swimming in the swamp? And, and then it turned out to be something else? Yes, of course. But you're sure that your experience isn't like that? Isn't maybe something other than what you thought? Well, I don't think I can be mistaken about what I feel inside the same way I can be mistaken about what I think is happening in the swamp. Why? Well, it, it feels that way. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Carl? Yes? Do we exist? Um... Suddenly I don't know. We should go find the penguin. He knows about stuff like this. Okay, well, right. No time like the present? Right. Yes. Well... Can't we just wallow some more? No, no, I think we should sort this out now. Uh, okay, let's go. I can see things that don't exist. There's no such thing as pink. It doesn't exist. Perceptions and senses are different.